this good at all. I like it. Yeah, you like everything. Badass. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Woo! Let's get it going, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there's one thing I think we could all agree on is that no one does stationary products quite like Japan. Like I've literally owned this pencil for like seven to eight years now. God damn, that was slick. You should do that in front of the camera. Yeah! But I've literally owned this pencil for like seven to eight years now, and I also had this notebook here, and I'm literally on my last page. So I thought, you know what? Maybe it's time for a change. I should probably go buy a new notebook. I should probably go invest in a new pencil as well. And Justin, you want to tell them why maybe you need to go stationary shopping today? I want to buy a pencil so I can learn how to write. So basically we're going to be going to three different Japanese stationery stores today and our goal is to buy at least one thing from each store. It should be a fun vlog. I hope you guys are ready for a fun uh, shopping vlog, I guess. It's going to be an adventure! Let's see go. So the first store we are heading to is Kinokuniya, which is a Japanese chain of bookstores. And it's extremely popular for all book lovers, especially those of Japanese literature. You guys excited? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What do you think you're going to buy there? Um, I'm hoping to find some... Uh, Please give it PG. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you fell, man. Are you okay? It's pretty embarrassing. I was in the middle of the street. I was hoping you didn't record that. <laughs> So the one thing I'm looking for is something called a campus flat notebook, which is like you open it up and there's supposedly like no crease in the middle. So it's like really nice for writing. And so I hope they have that here. Is there something you want to look for? I want a bag. Is there something you're going to look for? I already for? know what I'm going to get. I'm going to go look for that notebook right now. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but can you tell me where the campus flat notebook is by any chance? It's because it's like when you open and you write on it, your hand doesn't get caught in the middle. That's bullshit. I don't, I don't think that's <laughs> fucking bullshit. Alright, so I think we found it. It's kind of like this campus. You open it up, and it's kind of pretty like flat technology. You're not even giving it a chance. It just looks like a notebook. Yeah, man. Okay. I, I really can't tell the oh, difference. Heck. Honestly, there aren't even lines. What are these grids? You're writing in squares? Why are you writing in squares? What do you need this for? Let's be real here. What are you writing down? Video next week. <laughs> Video next week, one. But it's flat, look. Why don't you tell me it's flat one more time and maybe I'll buy it. <laughs> I think I do want one. I'm going to buy one. And I'm going to try it out and hopefully it actually is good. <laughs> Hours testing these pens. Conclude that this is the best one. We got here like 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah. What is the name of this? Uniball? Yeah, but now since I get two, it's Uniballs. <laughs> I might get this pencil case though. That's what you're gonna pick, Adam. Everything in the store? But I don't have a pencil case. Yeah, I think you can find a better pencil case than that. You gonna get that one for sure? Yes, sir. You like the black cat? Maybe I'll get the dot. Oh, that's what I would get. I didn't see that. Oh, there's a penguin in here. I want the penguin. One of the. There's the. Panda, 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 
Okay, so we're gonna do a quick haul of what we got. I got a pen. <laughs> you talk about your pen, man. Why do you like it so much? It's black. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Give me that. I got a duck. Why'd you like your duck? Well, I mean, first of all, I needed a pencil case. And then, second of all, it's kind of cute. It's like a little... And then I got the campus flat notebook. <gasps> Should we test it right now? Here. Oh, you, act oh, you actually spent money on that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Ready? Moment of truth. Oh. There's like, look, look, you can see in the but, frame, but, right but here. Look, maybe if I go like this, and I'm writing across, it's flat. What do you need to write across? Well, I don't know, but if I ever needed to like draw a line. Here, tell us. Like, oh, I, draw a line. <laughs> here, Singa, you feel that. You feel that, Singa. It's clearly not, it's not flat. I mean, yeah, it's the I flattest mean, thing you yeah, possibly yeah. can get, I maybe think. you just got scammed. All right, well, I'm happy with it, but maybe after a couple uses, I won't Wait, you it. didn't show them the second thing I got. Here's the first thing you got. Here's the second thing you got. I got the same thing twice. So the next store we're gonna be going to is called Goods for the Study. And while this store is... <laughs> While this store isn't entirely Japanese based, they do offer a lot of high quality stationary items from very famous and <laughs> reputable Japanese brands. What are you guys doing? You guys excited to try to go to Goods for the Study? I'm hungry. I've never studied a day in my life, okay. so I'm ready. Let's go there I'm right ready now. to find out what studying is. <laughs> it's called Goods for the Study, it's not a study place. We're gonna so go. I don't have to study? No, you don't have to study. Right. Let's go right now. All right, you guys, so unfortunately, we broke our one and only rule, which was to buy one thing at every <laughs> store. There wasn't one thing in that store that the other store didn't also have. Yeah, so. We're really getting so much when it comes to stationery. I was hoping to get a pen there, but the thing is, I didn't really like any of the pens there. Um, well, let me tell you something. What? It just so happens that I bought uh, <laughs> more than one. So I guess next we're gonna be going to get some pungopang, some taiyaki. Are you excited for that? Some bongo bang? Some bongo bang. Hey, you ready? Let's go. You wanna do a transition yeah, to yeah, the yeah. restaurant? Yes. Yeah. Hit it, hit it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little clap transition, ready? Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back. We are now at Tokyo Taiyuki Ki. I don't, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, this is nice. Wait, this is not, how do you get in here? What are you doing in the private room? Do I just like swipe? So unfortunately, the Tokyo Taiyaki place was closed, so we're still going to stick with the Japanese theme of today and just go to Tea Swirl Crepe instead. Wake up! So, yeah, we're, we're right next to it right here. Pass this one to my bro. I don't think it tastes good at all. I like it. Yeah, you like everything. That is. Yo, what the fuck, man? Fine. That's good. I know it's good. I picked it. I'll see yours. Mine is so good. That's a lot of flavor. <laughs> so the last place we're going to now is called Singa, you want to try pronouncing that? Niko Neko Zakaya. You want to try pronouncing it? Niko Neko Zakaya. I think that's how it's pronounced, honestly. And so this place emphasizes to stop and enjoy the little things. So let's all stop. 
and then enjoy the little things. So that's all we gotta do today. And hopefully this place actually sells some good stationery. That was really corny, I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, let's go there right now. These stores keep getting smaller. Alright you guys, so I'm back home now and I'm with my mom. We sing on top. We bought this for you. Oh really? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this candle. Uh -huh. And we all smelled it and we're like, oh money go. Oh we move to work well. And so <laughs> Thank you. What a surprise. 